Hello friends, in this session we will see how to find out the rank of word M set. So what is the first step we have to do as we have seen so many examples. First I have to write M set in alphabetical order because in dictionary I see the words in alphabetical order. So what is that A, A, B, C, after that I have couple of E's there, after that I have M and T. Now this is how I see in dictionary the words in this particular order we are interested in to find out the position of the word m set when you count them or the rank of the word m set so we we want the first letter of the word to be e and we keep them in alphabetical order we get a and c then only we get e so we don't want the words which are starting with a and c so let's go ahead and try to complete them we we don't want them so a m set is a six letter word so a is already fixed i have five more slots to be fixed and they need to be fixed with the letters c comma e comma e comma m and t now how many ways i can do that a is fixed so this five letters has to take these slots that's nothing but factorial 5 but we seen in last session we have seen that whenever a letter is repeating I have to divide with how many times it is repeating because we have seen that they are forming the duplicate words so that's nothing but factorial 5 by factorial 2 now let's go after A to C because we don't want all the words starting with C2 so when I go to C the remaining five slots to be filled with A, E, E and M and T. Again, I can do this in factorial 5 divided by factorial 2 ways because five letters are factorial 5 ways you can do that but two letters are repeating, one letter is repeating two times, E is repeating two times so it will be factorial 5 by factorial 2. Once A and C are over then we will move to our next letter that is nothing but E and we need E so we will strike E and then we will again come back to the starting point remember that once you have the letter what you want if you go to the dictionary again it will start from alphabetical order only so again I will come back I see A I need A but after that I want M but what I am finding out in alphabetical order is C so I don't want all the words which are starting with E A C I want to conveniently pass through them so th what are those letters I have to fill there E and M and T letters I have to fill in these three slots that's nothing but factorial 3 because 3 into 2 into 1 first slot can be given to any of the E of M of T but second slot can be given to only two of them and third slot is given to only one of them so that is factorial 3 now once you are done with E A C next we have to move to E A E so let's go to E A E when I go to E A E I don't want the word starting with E A E because I am looking for M M is there only after E so I have to fill these three slots with the letters C and M and T again how that can be done factorial three ways because again three into two into one and the last one is once we are done with E we will go to M once I get M, I M is what I need. So I'll strike it off. Again, I'll come back to the first position. I see C. I want C2. So I'll strike it off. Again, I'll come back to the first position. I see E. I want E. Again, I'll strike it off. Come back to the first position. So we see that they are in the alphabetical order. Now, can you tell me why everything went fall place after E, A, M? Because C, E, T are in alphabetical order already. You can see that E, A, M afterwards, A, B, C, D, E and T. They are already in alphabetical order. So there is only one way how we can do that. Now to find out the rank of this, I have to add all of them. I have to plus them. Let us do that. What it will become now? That will be 60. For the first one, I will write down here. Factorial 5 by factorial 2 is 120 by 2, 60. Again 60 here, 6 here, 6 here and 1 here. You add all of that, you will get rank of word equal M set 
is equal to 133. So, only one point we have to remember which is very important is write them in alphabetical order and see whenever you find a word strike it again you go back to the starting position again you continue there till you again get your next letter in whatever the word we need. So, this is a simple logic which will help us to find out the rank very easily. So, thanks for your time and support. This was requested by one of the friends. So I just made it. Bye for now.